Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today you are watching How to Grunge. The 90s are back. I'm gonna teach you grunge makeup, fashion, music and hairstyles. Let's start off with makeup. A very popular makeup look in the grunge fashion is the smoky look. It's basically where you do a smoky eye, but instead of using like the ordinary colors like black, brown, you use a red or orange tone or copper. Uh, today I'm wearing Max Copper Ring. It's got a little shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see it. And on the eyelid, you can either stick with the warm shades and go with the brown, or you can always go black. The eyebrows are are usually very thick and prominent, like this, or kind of sharp. Uh, the lips are a very important part of grunge makeup, and it is the dark lip. My favorite is dark purples. And today I'm wearing Makeup Store's lipstick in the color Black Orchid. I'm sorry for the lighting, it's all yellow, so it looks kind of red, but it's purple. You can also go with dark reds or black. Moving on to hairstyles. You can never go wrong with a like a messy bedhead look. Like this, or just throw it over to one side, you know just messy. Another popular hairstyle among grunge fashion is braids. Here. I can't braid my hair by myself but I'm gonna throw in a picture here so you can see. Very pretty. Another popular grunge hairstyle is this. The buns. I am a personal fan of this one. I actually think it's, it's pretty cute. I'm sorry if it's a little that one got a little messed up, but this one I'm pretty happy with. I'm gonna show you one more hairstyle. Oh my god. This one kind of isn't a hairstyle, but it's still like your head and your hair and stuff. And it is the hat. This is just a hat I bought uh, from, it's from H&M. I think someone is calling my phone. Hang on. So, as I was saying, the hat is, you can never go wrong with the hat. I love hats. Hat is my life. But the worst part is you get this hairdo. This is not pretty. I look like a pear, like, you know. My, my hair, it has always been like this. My hair always goes like flat up here and then like, it's like a pear, not pretty. Now we're gonna move into fashion. And by fashion, I mean clothes. I think we can start with accessories and of course a choker, a tattoo choker. I can post a pic here. That one is like the signature accessory for grunge fashion but I don't have one because I gave mine away to a good friend of mine because I don't know I thought I looked a little weird in it. It just didn't suit me. So another alternative is this thing. It's a necklace with a crystal in it. It's very beautiful. Oh my god, the angle. But yeah, mine looks like that. I'm gonna show you my outfit. I am wearing a black kimono with fringe and a, and a top with like moons and stuff on it. I think I'm gonna change the angle. This angle sucks. Wait. The angle still kind of sucks, but I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm pathetic. But wait, I'm gonna fix this. Wait, and a velvet bootcut <laughs> pant. I really love these pants. They're really comfortable, and I think they're fashionable. But beware, there are people who are gonna think. Who are gonna think you look like this? But you know what? Screw those people. Wear whatever you want. Be a slut. I don't care. The second outfit is this. Personally, this is like my go-to outfit. You know what? 
I'm gonna go downstairs because I'm sick of this freaking lighting. And by the way, it's snowing here in Sweden. We didn't have like snow for Christmas and everyone was like, oh, we're never gonna have snow anymore. But it came. Now you can see it's a purple lipstick. This is like perfect selfie lighting. I gotta get like a better light in my room because like when I do my makeup I'm like this looks horrible and then I go into another lighting and it looks kind of amazing. I could stand here. Very good tip for like grunge fashion is you can never go wrong with like flannel like this. If you can just wear a flannel, like a normal t-shirt. Sorry, thumbs up if you like American Horror Story. I love American Horror Story. And just like black jeans or leggings, then you're... Couldn't find it, but if you have like those uh, old school jeans jacket, like the puffy ones. I have one of those, but I can't find it. Those and like this outfit would go really good. We've gone through makeup, hair, and fashion. Now it's time for music. This is personally my like what I think is most important about the grunge. What's it called? I don't know. Grunge, grunge people. Just overall, if you want to be grunge, the music. It's like the source of it all. So I have some some albums here that are very good if you if you like grunge stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna find it. Yeah. This album. This is your best friend Nir Nirvana. Nirvana? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm Swedish, so we say Nirvana. But I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it in English. So now I'm gonna say some bands that are very grungy or, yeah, grunge, grunge rock. So we have Pearl Jam, Mud Honey, Alice in Chains, of course Nirvana, Soundgarden, but I just wanna get this out there. Don't limit yourself. If you wanna be grunge and you wanna be a little punk and then you wanna be a little that and a little that, just be what you want to be. If, if you want to listen to Slipknot and then you want to listen to One Direction, you can just do it. Just don't put yourself in a box. Don't limit yourself. Don't listen to what other people say. I've seen like people who's like, oh, you're not grunge. You don't listen to that. You can't listen to that if you're grunge. Bitch, yes I can. Just like what you like. I, so I hope this video was help if helpful to you if you're interested in like grunge fashion I love it personally but yeah I hope this video helped you get some fashion sense you know what I mean <laughs> no did you think I missed some fashion tips bands makeup hairstyles if I missed any if I missed any tell me down below don't forget to subscribe if you uh, haven't already, then you can clip, click this button right here. Click it. Click. You know, leave a like, comment, whatever, if you like. Bye.